Did your battery warning light suddenly pop up on your dashboard while driving? Or maybe it doesn't go away even after the engine starts? Wondering how to fix it? Well, you're in the right place. Because in this video, I'm going to walk you through, step by step, how to diagnose, fix, and reset the battery warning light. But before we dive into the reset procedure, it's important to understand what this battery warning light actually means and why ignoring it could leave you stranded. So what does the battery warning light actually mean? A lot of people assume it's just a problem with the battery itself, but that's not always the case. In reality, when that battery light comes on, it usually means there's a problem with your car's charging system. Basically, the battery isn't getting enough charge from the alternator, or in some cases, it's not charging at all. So if you see that battery warning light come on while you're driving, here's what you should do immediately. First, reduce the load on the electrical system. That means turning off anything that's not essential, like the radio, air conditioning, heated seats, or even the phone charger. The less strain on the system, the longer your car will keep running. Don't turn off the engine. I know it might feel like the right move, but if your battery is already weak or not getting charged properly, turning the engine off could leave you stranded. You might not be able to start it back up again. Instead, head straight to a nearby mechanic or auto repair shop as soon as it's safe to do so. You want to get it checked before the car stalls or the battery dies completely. All right, now that we understand what the battery warning light actually means and what to do if it comes on while driving, let's move on to how you can troubleshoot and reset that warning light. All right, the first thing you should always check is the battery terminals. Pop the hood and take a good look at them. Are they clean and tightly connected? If you spot any corrosion or buildup, that chalky white or green stuff, it could be interfering with the battery's ability to charge properly. Before you clean anything, make sure the car is completely turned off or the key is removed from the ignition. This is crucial for safety. Start by disconnecting the negative terminal first. This is a safety precaution to prevent accidental short circuits while you're working on the battery. Once the negative is off, go ahead and remove the positive terminal. Now take a close look at both the terminal and the cable ends. If you see any corrosion, that crusty white or bluish green buildup, it's time to clean it off. Use a designated battery brush to gently scrub away the corrosion from the metal surfaces. For even better results, you can use a battery cleaner spray like CRC Battery Cleaner. It helps dissolve stubborn corrosion and preps the surface for protection. Once everything is clean and dry, apply a battery terminal gel or grease to prevent future corrosion. Here's an important safety tip. Always wear gloves when working around the battery. It protects your hands from acid exposure and potential burns. When reconnecting the terminals, attach the positive terminal first, then the negative. This order helps minimize the risk of sparking. Once it's all done, restart the car and check your dashboard. In many cases, simply cleaning and securing the battery terminals is enough to clear the battery warning light. Next, check if the battery itself is dead or weak. While the battery warning light usually points to a charging system issue, a failing battery can still be the root cause. If your battery isn't holding a charge properly, maybe due to age or internal damage, it puts extra strain on the alternator and the rest of the charging system. That added load can easily trigger the warning light. To check the battery's condition, use a multimeter. A healthy battery should show around 12.6 volts when the engine is off and between 13.7 to 14.7 volts when the engine is running. If the readings are significantly lower, it's a sign the battery might be on its last legs. Not sure how to test it? No worries. Most auto parts stores will test your battery for free, so it's worth getting it checked before you decide to replace it. If you found this video helpful and want to see more guides on how to reset dashboard warning lights and fix common car issues, Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your fellow car enthusiasts. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, so you never miss an update when we drop a new video. Next, check if a fuse is blown, because here's something a lot of people don't know. Your alternator needs a bit of external current to get started, a process called excitation. That current comes through a fuse, 
and if that fuse is blown, the alternator simply won't build the voltage it needs to charge your battery. Start by locating your vehicle's fuse box. You'll usually find it under the dashboard or in the engine bay. Look for a fuse labeled alternator or something similar. Your owner's manual can help you find the exact one. Or you can refer to the diagram printed on the inside of the fuse box cover. Once you find the fuse, carefully pull it out and inspect it. If the metal strip inside is broken or looks burnt, the fuse is blown. Simply replace it with a new fuse of the same amperage, and that could solve your charging issue. Now, even if the fuse is fine, the battery still might not be charging properly due to corroded or loose wiring, especially if it's disrupting the alternator's excitation circuit. The alternator relies on clean, solid electrical connections, not just to generate power, but also to send it back to the battery for charging. If any wire is frayed, rusted, or not securely connected, it can mess with the whole charging system and trigger the battery warning light. To check this properly, it's really helpful to understand how the alternator is wired, where each wire goes and what it does. We've made a detailed video on the alternator wiring diagram, so if you're not sure where to start, go watch that. I'll leave the link in the description for you. If you find any loose or corroded wires and fix them, there's a good chance that alone could reset the battery light and get things working again. Now, if you've already checked the fuse and wiring and everything seems fine, but the battery warning light is still on, the next thing to inspect is the alternator belt. The alternator is driven by the engine through this belt, and that's how it spins to generate power for charging the battery. But if the belt is loose or worn out, the alternator may not spin fast enough, which means it can't generate enough voltage. And that's a common reason why the battery light stays on. So pop the hood and check the belt tension. If it feels loose, cracked, or glazed, it's probably time to replace it. Fixing the belt could be all it takes to reset the warning light and get your charging system back on track. If you've checked everything else, the battery, fuse, wiring, and belt, and the battery warning light is still on, it's time to take a closer look at the voltage regulator. The voltage regulator is responsible for maintaining the correct charging voltage to the battery. If it fails, it won't properly control the alternator's output, which means your battery could either be undercharged or overcharged, both of which can trigger the warning light. Now, here's an important tip. Many mechanics might recommend replacing the entire alternator, but the alternator itself is a very reliable and durable component. It rarely fails on its own. More often, it's the voltage regulator inside or attached to the alternator that goes bad. So, before you go spending money on a new alternator, make sure to check or test the voltage regulator first. It might save you a lot of unnecessary expense.